Well, we FC TV with Adam Hinch, who are following a Boxing Day thriller here at Woodside Road, 4 3 win over Hampton and Richmond Borough. Adam, where do we even begin with that? What a roller coaster. No, it was, yeah. We, um, we set up a team to, to get off to a fast, fast start, and um, you know, we've certainly done that 20 seconds into the game when we 1 0 up, and you're thinking, oh, brilliant, this is what we sort of planned for uh, when we trained on Friday. Um, but then six minutes, I think, and we're 2 1 down, and it was. Um, they didn't get into our box too many times, I didn't think, first half, but when they did, they just seemed to have, you know, glorious chances to score. So, yeah, disappointed with that, but I thought large parts of the game, we played some really good stuff. Um, you know, possession-wise, we completely dominated large parts of the first half, and I just felt we needed to um, switch the ball a little bit more and just our decisions. Um, I thought mentally we was... Not quite at it, not good decisions on the ball. Um, we was playing forward when I thought we should have switched it and the, the movement wasn't quite linking up um, how we wanted it to. But, um, you know, one thing this, this group of lads are doing, they're absolutely brilliant lads to, to work with and, you know, know they're going to give their all and just delighted that, you know, um, after a bit of a tricky run recently, although I think the last two performances have been good, I think it's important to get three points today. Yeah, it was one of those things in the last few games, wasn't it, where um, that intensity maybe wasn't quite there for a couple of games, but today it was it was there on full show. The work rate from the boys was was there from the off. No, exactly. Yeah, and you know I've been on a, the lads. There's been a couple of little things that I've noticed. Um, you know where we scored goals and there was not everyone celebrating, um, and three people walk in when we score goals and stuff like that. So you know for team spirit and, and character and stuff. You know, I wanted that to, to be there, and it's hard to generate. It comes over, you know, time. I think something like that. But um, you know, I thought the endeavour and the commitment for each other today was 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 first class, and you know, I'm really hoping now that we get some momentum going from you know scoring so late like we did. That second half, it felt like the game was uh, it was a little bit more forward, a little bit more adventurous from the team. Um, talk about decision making and, and playing the right passes. It felt like that was there in the second half. What changes did you make at half time? What sort of things did you say to the players? No, just exactly that. That you know, um, we wasn't using our our brains and you know how we want to play. It's about getting our overloads and um, you know switching at the right time, playing forward at the right time. Um, and yeah, just thought we needed to to play clever in our minds. And um, yeah, we've done that done that well. A slight tweak to um, the formation with Kane sort of rolling in from left back, um, which a new position for him. But he spent most of the game in centre mid, to be honest, um, which done you know well in there. Um, but yeah, it's just a case of you know just keep keep going and keep leaving and and, and just mentally just be a little bit sharper and a bit cleverer and I think one person was moving and then there wasn't the second movement that we like to generate. It was a late winner as well, uh, 90th minute for Ollie to get that goal. I mean, heart must have been in your mouth during that game. No, it certainly was. Um, you know, trying not to get too frustrated but when the penalty given against us quite late, um, you know, I just... Felt for the players a little bit because they give give their all and it's just such a soft goal. There was some weary legs, um, so we've got to look at that. But um, delighted for the fans, you know, to to come out in their numbers today, over a thousand again for a Boxing Day game. You know, times are hard just over Christmas, um, so I'm pleased that you know we managed to get the winner for them because um, you know, like I say, they were first class um, stuck with us throughout, and um, you know, really going to sort of need them over the coming weeks. Rolling into a tough trip to Bath now, Thursday, uh, 3 o'clock kickoff, uh, an odd time for a, a game on a Thursday. How are you feeling going into it? The team's got to be feeling good going into that now. No, yeah, just it, it got put to us about the 3 o'clock kickoff, and you know, our point of view as players and staff and everything was we'd much prefer to go to travel to Bath for a 3 o'clock than a 7.45. Um, it's going to be really tough if we leave that on a Tuesday, 7.45, for everybody to get there because um, we have to leave so early and then it's going to be really late getting back so you know that was our thinking behind as players and staff what we wanted to do and the club went with it so yeah really sorry for any fans that can't be there and can't make it or whatever but I'm sure they'll all be listening in to, to Pete's commentary here uh, if he's allowed to do it um, you know so um, yeah it's We've got to dust ourselves down. There's a bit of illness about as well. We've got JB and Mo Shabar, um and Comrade all in, um, all ill at the moment um, at home. So we're hoping that it doesn't spread too much. Miki had to come off today because he was just feeling ropey and rough. Um, although I thought he had an excellent game. Um, you know, so we've got to really 
rest is going to be really important now uh, between now and Thursday and uh, yes, yeah, got to really prepare professionally for, for this tricky week.